This video is for you if you are a beginner to your weight loss journey. I am going to give you some tips on what I would recommend, especially for you if you are a beginner. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health and your life. This video, I wanted to give you some tips if you are just starting out with your weight loss journey, because I know it can be overwhelming, especially with all the information out there, knowing what to do and what you really need to pay attention to most can be confusing. So I'm gonna get straight into it. The first tip I have, if you are a beginner, is to understand that nothing is going to work unless you can be consistent. So you have to make sure whatever exercise or diet plan that you choose to follow, make sure that it is something that you think you'll be able to stick to consistently for the long term. Weight loss is not going to take eight weeks. Like to get to your goal body, there is very, very high chance that it is going to take six to 12 months, maybe even longer. So you really need to be able to commit to your plan long term. When it comes to weight loss, there are principles that you need to follow, but there are so many methods that you can use. As long as they obey those principles, you will get results. So choose something that you can integrate into your lifestyle, the easiest, because that is going to give you the best chance of being successful because you're going to be able to stick to it. The second tip I have for you is to not to try to do too many things at once. I think that is one of the biggest mistakes I see with people, especially when you sign up for just say a 30 day challenge or an eight week challenge, you go all in at once and as a result, you can't stick to it. You might get some results short term, but you're probably not going to keep these results because it's just too much at once. You need to integrate one thing and then add another, be consistent with that, then start adding another and like work on things bit by bit rather than trying to do everything all at the same time. If you know you're someone with really good discipline and really good willpower, then maybe you can add in a few things at a time. But if you know you're someone that has a very busy lifestyle, you get stressed easily, and it just seems all a bit overwhelming, do one thing at a time. It's totally fine. Now, when it comes to what you should do first for weight loss, pay attention to your diet. You need a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter what exercise you're doing or what food you're eating or how healthy you're eating. If you're not in a calorie deficit, you will not lose weight. So however you want to achieve a calorie deficit, it could be through doing intermittent fasting. It could be through restricting carbs if you really want to. I don't recommend that, but it is a method, right? To achieve a calorie deficit. There are many methods to do this. You have to choose one, whether that is counting your calories. That's probably the one I recommend to start with because that is going to give you so much awareness around what you're eating and what changes you need to make to your current diet in order to achieve a calorie deficit to lose weight. Now, once you have that under control, I would then focus on general movement during the day. So getting up, moving about more, walking more, getting those steps in. Your non-exercise activity actually contributes to your total daily energy expenditure more than what exercise does. So this is more important in my opinion than getting your workouts in. So worry about your diet first, then worry about steps and just general movement. And then the next thing I would worry about is your exercise or your workouts. So if you want to lose weight, I'm sure you want to get a leaner, firmer, tighter body. You don't just want to end up skinny fat, right? What is important then is doing some kind of weight training. I'm going to be upfront and direct with you. If you are a beginner to weight loss and a beginner to the gym especially, the best way to learn what is right or wrong to do and the fastest way to actually achieve your goals is to get help from a professional. Or you have to invest a lot of time and energy into learning how to do things the right way yourself. It's very possible that you can spend months going to the gym, doing workouts, and get no results from them if you are doing them the wrong way. Especially if you're not following a program that is customized to you and your skill level and your goals. I always feel funny saying that because I am a coach, but the only reason I am in the position I am in now is because I have invested in coaches in the past 
And I even have a coach now still to help me keep moving forward towards my goals because there is always something else to learn. And the right coach is going to give you that accountability and support that will make such a difference in how likely you are to actually get the result you want. I'm not saying to sign up with me, I'm saying to invest in yourself, whether that is buying a program or buying a course so you can learn how to work out properly yourself or signing up with someone else. Like, I don't care. It's just the honest truth. Having a coach is the fastest way to get to your goal, especially if you are a beginner and you have no idea what you are doing in the gym. You can also do a lot of reading yourself. I have an article on my website about how to design your own program. That is a starting point. And then watching videos on YouTube on how to do lifts correctly and how to choose the right tempo and choose the right weight. Filming yourself and comparing your form to the form on YouTube videos, that can help as well. All of that is going to be essential in you getting good results from your training. Now, I know you might be feeling overwhelmed now. And honestly, like this is why there are coaches. It is hard to lose weight when you have no idea what you're doing. Last tip I have for you to help you if you are a beginner is to make sure you have some kind of accountability. Now this doesn't have to be a coach, it can be a good friend or someone that you really trust to push you in the right direction when you need it. Because there are going to be days that are very hard and you're likely to fall off track. Having someone to keep you accountable and help you stay consistent can make all the difference. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, please send me an email. I put that in the description box. Hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next video.